In this session, let us discuss function oriented design. What is a function oriented design and what are its different features? So, a function oriented design, the system comprises of many smaller subsystems and also known as functions. These functions are capable of performing significant tasks in the system. The system is considered as top view of all these functions. So, whenever we are having a, some dedicated task, we can write a separate function for it so that the function execution will accomplish the task execution. So, whenever we are considering functional design, then you can consider that system is consisting of multiple different cooperating functions and each and every function might be executing a specific dedicated task. Function oriented design inherits some properties of structure design where divide and conquer methodology is used. So, divide and conquer methodology means we shall divide our whole problem into sub problems and for each and every sub problem depending upon the dedicated task we will be writing our respective function for that. And that is the main key theme in our function oriented design. This function design mechanism divides the whole system into smaller functions, which provides means of abstraction by concealing the information and their respective operations. So, from the top view, we can get the different functions, but how these functions are having their respective information residing in that and what is their respective operations and respective codes are written. So, it is these functions are counseling them. So, these function modules can share information among themselves by means of information passing and using information available globally. So, whenever one function will interact with another function, then the function which will be calling the other one may pass some parameters, may pass some information so that the information can be accessed from the other functions body and functions can do the communication through some global data set. Another characteristics of function is that when a program calls a function, the function changes the state of the program. So, whenever a function will be called, the function may change the state of the program, which sometimes is not acceptable by the other modules. So, function oriented design works well where the system state does not matter and program as functions work on input rather than on a state. So, this particular functional design is applicable in those applications where state of the system will be ignored and only passing parameters, passing information between two cooperating functions, they can communicate each other. So, design process, the whole system is seen as how the data flows in the system by means of data flow diagram. So, in a separate video, we have discussed what is this DFD and what are the different levels of DFD. So, actually in case of DFD, we are trying to put one diagram, we are want to draw one diagram which will depict that how the data will be flowing from one subsystem to another subsystem. DFD depicts how function change data and step of the enter system. The enter system is logically broken down into smaller units known as a function on the basis of their operations in the system. Each and every function must be dedicated to a certain operation or task completion. Each function is then described at large. Then each and every function will be described at large. So now, after getting this respective task which is going to get accomplished by the respective function, we can define this function into more details. So, this is known as function oriented design. So, we have discussed into more details about this respective design technique. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.